there's a new model in the market and I'm really surprised by the pricing plan of this new model. So DeepSeek V3.2 Experimental is out and people are claiming that it's almost as intelligent as GPT-5 or Claude 4.5 Sonnet. You can see these are the benchmarks and DeepSeek V3.2 Experimental is quite close to Claude 4.5 Sonnet and GPT-5 Medium and High with Thinking. The best part is right here. So in the next image you can see that DeepSeek V3.2 is costing you almost a fraction of the price of Claude 4.5 Sonnet and GPT-5 models. It's only $41 as compared to Claude 4.5 Sonnet which costs around $817 or GPT-5 medium with thinking which is $513. And over X people are claiming that they're gonna start using DeepSeek from now on. And the best part is this model is completely open source so you can download this from Hugging Face which is right here. I will be leaving the link in the description and you can run these locally on your machine as well using Ulama. But there are tons of other alternatives like Kilo Code or Open Router if you want to get their API for free. Or if you want to use the Kilo Code extension inside your VS Code, you can pretty much access this for free. They also provide the model for free use in their DeepSeek chat. But before we start testing the model, I want to talk a little about the benchmarks and why this model has shaken the community of open source models and why this model is so hyped about. So here are the inference cost of DeepSeek v3.1 terminus as compared to DeepSeq v3.2 experimental. So you can see it's maintaining the same quality but the cost is reduced by almost 50% which is what they are claiming right here. The API prices are cut by more than 50% and that's not all. You can see the benchmarks. So here you can see that the benchmarks are almost on par with DeepSeq v3.1 terminus but the pricing is 50% less. You can see the journal benchmarks, the search agent benchmarks, coding benchmarks, as well as code agent and math benchmarks. And here is an overview of the API cost. So in the input token, now it's not 7 cents, it's almost 2 cents with cache hit. And with cache miss, it's around 28 cents. But when it comes to output, it's only 42 cents as compared to the previous B3.1 terminus, which is $1.68. Now you must be wondering why are they charging so less. So this time in the DeepSeek V3.2 experimental they are using sparse attention technology. Which is actually a way of neglecting or cutting off cost only focusing on the important keywords in the input and output. And just neglecting what is not needed. And through this you get 2 to 3 times performance boost in the long text inference speed. And you get a cut off on 30 to 40 percent reduced memory usage. Also, the training efficiency is improved by 50% and API cost is reduced up to 50%. So this is why V3.2 Experimental is so cheap because they have started using the sparse attention technology in their 3.2 Experimental. And by far, this does not affect the performance. You can see right here, it has improved in some of the benchmarks and in some of the benchmarks, the decline is only in a fraction. As for me, I would personally use V3.2 Experimental if I want to reduce my cost as well as increase the efficiency of work and get quality outputs. So with that said, now we have a complete grip on what DeepSeek V3.2 Experimental is. So let's get started with the testing part. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Ocean Rays and we're finally getting started with testing this model out. So I'm here at chat.deepseek.com and the first test that I'm going to be conducting is generating an SVG code for a butterfly because I've heard a lot about DeepSeek V3.2 being able to generate really cool SVG codes. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And by the way, I'm using DeepSeek V3.2 thinking here with the deep think feature right here. So it's going to think for a while, maybe 10 seconds or more. And I'm using the chart platform because this is the easiest way to access DeepSeek V3.2 experimental. But if you want to go with the local install, do let me know in the comments below. And I will be creating a video on how you can set that up locally on a computer and how you can run this using Olama. But for this video, we're going to be using their web platform to actually test this out because we can actually run the code right here. So it's pretty easy. So there you go. We have a butterfly right here. I would say this isn't the best, but it is quite good relatively. So now I'm going to ask DeepSeek to go ahead and animate this SVG. So there you go. We have the results for the animated butterfly. You can see the flutter in the wings as well as small golden sparkles and the antenna is also hovering. So I think this can be a pass, although it is not as good as people were claiming it to be, but this is still possible. 
So let's move ahead with the next test, which is going to be creating a landing page because I want to test out the UI designing capabilities of DeepSeek V3.2 experiment. And there you go. It started generating the code for this landing page right here. And once it's done generating the code, we can check out whether the claims about it being really good with the UI are actually true or just a hype train created by people over at X. So there you go. We have the results out and this is the landing page that it made for me, Cloudflow. And I think this is really good because you can see the slight animation right here where the image in the hero section is hovering we have animation on the buttons and if i go down we have animation on the feature cards as well and we have a really good structure we have the testimonials here we have the pricing which looks kind of really cool we have the monthly and yearly pricing toggle as well as we have the faqs which works perfectly fine and at the end we have an action call section as well the photo looks really good and the animation is really great and the best part is this can be built without paying a single cent to any platform so i must say the claims about it being really great when it comes to ui were accurate now let's move to the next test where i'm gonna be asking DeepSeek v3.2 some logical reasoning questions and i'm gonna determine its reasoning capabilities all right so i started thinking and reasoning according to the question so the question is kind of tricky we have a coding mechanism in the question and it has to determine the code for a certain word using the small chunks of information that i've provided it and i'm really looking forward to the results so there you go we have the results out after 490 seconds of thought it produced this result which is at the rate e9 and i took this question from byju's and you can see right here the answer is at e9 so this proves that the thinking capability of v3.2 is on par with v3.1 terminus and other models out there so that was an incredibly lengthy thought process by DeepSeek v3.2 and it did an amazing job on translating the answer now that we know that it is great with ui and thinking and it can also generate svg codes and animate them the last test that i want to conduct is to build a browser-based operating system so the prompt goes like build a browser-based operating system which is a mixture of mac os and ubuntu so there you go it started thinking so let's wait for the results now all right so there you go we have the results so the name goes like mac button os and the features include mac os inspired ui elements and the ubuntu inspired functionality also it has key applications like finder and file explorer terminal with command execution system settings web browser text editor and calculator and it also have interactive features like draggable and resizable windows context menu login screen and notification system also a time system status display so let's actually go and run this code okay so we have a sign in option right here so welcome to mac button let's sign in so this looks really cool we have the time right here the percentage of battery wi-fi connected and this is inspired by mac os let's open the finder double click so there you go we have the finder right here and i can actually go ahead and minimize it and open this back up now i can open up settings which is right here this is a one shot operating system that was built with deep seek v3.2 experimental we can actually build our own browser based operating system and what i really like about v3.2 is it did a pretty good job at developing all these icons and animation also it did copy the elements from mac os and ubuntu really well so with that said i want to conclude the test that I was conducting on deep seek v3.2 experimental and honestly speaking i would highly suggest you guys to go ahead and try this out yourself and i can bet that once you try this out you're not going to go to more expensive models out there i hope this video was helpful if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring